Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read to you a program I call Tarot Your Love Story, and that's for the month of May 2018, and it's for you coming from Scorpio. So the first card that I'm going to pull will have to do with your first 15 days of May, and this is a terrible card I've pulled for you where if you find a new romance, it's going to be more than a handful of problems, very aggressive, very independent of nature, and very dominating. So do you want to cancel out the romance? Maybe not try and understand the person, but you're going to have a lot of headache if you find a new romance in the first half of, of May for you coming from Scorpio. If you have an ongoing romance, it's going to be full of trouble. And the first 15 days shows differences of opinion, leading to arguments, leading to conflict of words and action. And it's you who is listening to me. So if you value your romance, the ongoing romance, tell yourself, don't take the risk of just being too confrontative. Try to be understanding and appreciative and listen to the complaints of your romance partner. And if you're married, tell yourself deep-seated problems can come arise and things can that have been troubling your marriage partner or perhaps troubling you are going to just rise and there will be conflict in your marriage in the first 15 days. Real big problems are going to be seen. And you have heard it from me. So if you value your marriage, tell yourself in this first 15 days of May, I'm just going to listen. I'm not going to aggravate or make the situation worse. I'm going to try my best to be understanding and find solutions. And that's the way you can help your marriage in the first 15 days. But it's going to be a lot of effort from you and a lot of trouble coming your way. The last card that I pull for you, this second card, will be to do with your last 15 days. And it's a wonderful card. It produces the solutions, whether in romance or in marriage. And if you find a romance, a new romance, if you find it in the last 15 days, it's going to be a very good one. You'll be on the same wavelength. You'll be together in the sense of supporting each other. And from the word go, there'll be understanding for each other. So the second half of the month provides a wonderful romance for you. Now, your ongoing romance is going to improve dramatically compared to the first 15 days. So when you're having this problem in the first 15 days, tell yourself, let me hold on to it in this romance. I know that uh, the last 15 days are going to bring wonderful solutions and plenty of togetherness. And there will be that. And there shows a great bonding going on in the last 15 days in your romance. If you're married, the bonding is going to be beautiful and support and understanding from your marriage partner. Compared to the first 15 days, you are in heaven in the last 15 days and tell yourself to make the effort to see what troubles your marriage partner. And this is the last 15 days where you can come up with solutions which will be very acceptable to your marriage partner. That's how that beautiful bonding takes place in the last 15 days. Now using both these cards, I'm going to talk to you in Scorpio about your lucky dates for the month of May very special dates that can bring plenty of good luck, whether chasing for romance, improving romance, already have, and also helping your marriage area. And the dates I've chosen for you are the 9th, the 18th, and the 27th. Very powerful dates. So bookmark this and go out and enjoy yourself. And you will see that the bonding that takes place between you and your partner, whether marriage partner or romance partner, is going to be wonderful. And you'll be very lucky on the 9th, 18th or 27th in connecting with a new romance as well. So bookmark these dates. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky ages for the month of May. And if you happen to be the ages which are 22 or 31 or 40 or 49 or 58 or 67 or even 76, you're going to be one very lucky individual in this month of May, whether looking for the new romance, whether enjoying and strengthening your ongoing romance, or whether improving your marriage area. So that's going to help you a great, great deal. Okay. If you are not of these ages, don't worry. 
you need to have a consultation with me for 90 minutes. That will cost you USD 50 and I'll talk a bit more later about that for you. Now, you can have some trouble for somebody who comes from Virgo. So somebody from Virgo can go against you. And somebody from Virgo can disturb your love life in the month of May. So if it is somebody that you have found a new romance in the month of May who comes from Virgo, be exceptionally careful. Doesn't mean you want to cancel out the romance, but you'll have to work very hard. And if your ongoing romance partner or marriage partner comes from Virgo, you'll have to handle them very, very carefully because they can just go off on a tangent and bring disagreements with you. Okay? And don't share any of your secrets from, any, from anybody who is from Virgo. Now, you can form a great togetherness with somebody who comes from Sagittarius. So you see, Kabbalistic cards show zodiac signs, show planetary signs, and I'm very at home with them. I can read them well. So somebody from Sagittarius is going to bring a lot of benefit to you in the month of May. And if that happens to be the person you found a new romance coming from Sagittarius, or that your ongoing romance or your marriage, somebody is from Sagittarius, tell yourself the bonding is going to be beautiful and the ability to overcome problems will be much, much easier. And if you have interest in somebody from Sagittarius, well, make the move and you are going to catch their eye and catch their attention as well. All right, now I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50 for a 90-minute Skype session. And that will be based on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms and face reading you while I Skype as well. I'll find you a lot of solutions. I'll predict your next seven to eight years in great detail, age by age, calendar year by calendar year. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, send me an email, one way or another, make the contact, ask me the questions you want, and I'll give you the answers. And let's get down to Skyping your next seven to eight years so that you are fully in charge of them. Until then, thank you and good luck.